In the past five years, I would argue that under $1,000, there may not be another watch that can outduel the Hamilton Khaki Field Murph. Its combination of brand authenticity to the field genre, phenomenal specifications, multiple sizes, amazing looks, and a blockbuster film on its IMDb has created a compelling formula that leaves little question as to why it has been such a success. And a decade after the theatrical release of Interstellar and five years after the initial commercial unveiling of the Murph, Hamilton has dropped two new extensions to the Murph family at 38 millimeters, including the familiar black dial now on a bracelet, and for the first time, a new dial color in white. Taking a brief step back and setting the stage, Hamilton was founded in 1892 in Lancaster, Pennsylvania as one of the leading producers of pocket watches in the United States and an early pioneer of railway chronometers that paved the way to the nation's rapid industrialization. Shortly thereafter, the brand began to establish its deep military roots, supplying US armed forces from trench watches of World War I to field watches of World War II and later Vietnam. Besides their history with the armed forces, Hamilton is renowned for being the watchmaker of filmmakers, having appeared in more than 500 films and television shows, including 2001 A Space Odyssey, Live and Let Die, Jack Ryan, Men in Black, The Martian, and countless others. But Christopher Nolan's 2014 sci-fi classic Interstellar takes the prize for not only the most significant Hamill movie appearance ever, but the one that spawned a genuine bestseller for the brand. The original 42 millimeter field style watch was a prop built for the Matthew McConaughey film worn by his daughter Murph and played a crucial role in the film's plot. No spoilers here. It would take years of clamoring before Hamilton eventually made the Murph a member of their contemporary lineup in 2019, mirroring the prop watch of the film at 42 millimeters with the cinematic Easter egg of that Morse code on the second hand. In typical enthusiast fashion, not everyone was satisfied. There were requests daily to see a smaller version become available. In 2022, Hamilton answered the call, developing a 38 millimeter version of the design that rethought the case proportions and dropped the Morse code from the second hand. Since this moment, the watch has become the number one selling khaki model, representing a no-nonsense everyday watch with pop cultural tie-ins that appeal to both first-time watch buyers as well as seasoned collectors. And now with these two versions, we have gone from an isolated model line to a thoughtful mini collection that makes them arguably more compelling than they ever have been in the past. The concept of what has allowed the Murph to be one of the most versatile watches of any price segment are preserved here with these new iterations. The 38 millimeter Murph maintains a field aesthetic, being elevated with a predominantly brushed finish case and the bezel receiving high polish. A great case size also helps in the versatility department with a 38 millimeter diameter, a height of 11.1 millimeters, and an abbreviated lug to lug of 44.7 millimeters. At three is the 6.3 millimeter push-pull crown that is used to set the time in a straightforward fashion, with the case being rated to 100 meters of water resistance. The Murph is forgiving in its ability to make multiple straps work with its overall design. However, in the case of what comes from the factory between the 20 millimeter lugs, we have the familiar alligator grain black strap with contrasted white stitching and a signed pin buckle. The strap is of completely acceptable quality, although it is a little heavier on the padding than I typically like. So give it a moment to break in for a couple of days, if not maybe a week or so. But the breaking news is the fact that the original black dial variant is now available with a bracelet, while only being $50 more than the strap version, a very reasonable upcharge in my opinion. As for the bracelet itself, it is of the three length variety featuring brush link tops and subtle polish points on the interior angles of that center link. The links are adjusted using pins and taper slightly to 18 millimeters until expanding out again at its two button sign clasp. The clasp is of solid quality, having polished facets running the length on both sides and contains three points of micro adjustment. This micro adjustment will require a tool, but will leave no concern for a perfect fit while featuring quick release on the back of the lug ends for seamless swapping out of that bracelet. So I find most of the khaki lineup works when paired with a bracelet. However, the field watch concept just always came across as being more at home when on a strap by comparison. But when it comes to the Murph, specifically at 38 millimeters, I can't recall another khaki model that works as well on a bracelet as it does on a strap as we see here. A couple points of clarification on the bracelet. One is that where it currently stands, the white dial is only available on the leather strap with no timeline for a bracelet variant coming. Number two, I looked into the bracelet individually being available for purchase, and that also doesn't seem to have a timeline either if you wanted to add this to your previously purchased Murph. And number three, in case you did have both of these, yes, the bracelet does fit the white dial. And just for fun, we did quickly try it out to see how it works. And as expected, it looks amazing. 
Along with the big news of the Murph bracelets, the other headline is the option of a new white dial, joining the black in the lineup. The original dial has always been one of the most often praised attributes of the Murph, with its clean, no date aesthetic and unsaturated tones. Despite the new color, the white dial doesn't detach from these similar ideas, except it does take on the concept and infuse lighter, brighter, and carefree sensibilities. The general layout of larger hour markers, cathedral hands, dial text, and the lack of Morse code on the second hand remains. That said, there are a few small updates to call attention to. One is that the dial texture is slightly different with the white showcasing a mild grain pattern, while the black is matte in appearance. The texture is very fine and reminds me more of an understated pattern you might see on the Patek Calatrava 5226G. Secondly, the loom coloration on the white is slightly different in its shade and is more legible given the black perimeter surrounding the loom filled areas. All of this comes together to deliver a more casual package for the white dial while still upholding the principles that have allowed the Murph to be a staple of everyday viability since its launch. In practice, the Superluminova filled hands as well as the markers are going to shine adequately and is better than some other khaki models given that the numerals are applied with loom, giving for improved low light visibility by mere surface area. Also guys, I am very excited to mention that teddybaldasar.com is the first retailer in the country to have these Murphs in stock. So if you're liking what you're seeing here, check them out, they'll be in the description down below. Also, if you go to our website, we'll have people on live chat, real people, people that are into watches that will be down there. You can have live questions, they'll answer them in real time with you. So take advantage of that. They are working around the clock basically. So like 18 hours a day, they are down there wanting to help people like you get their next watch. As always, we greatly appreciate the support with watching, and if you are in the market for a watch, we'd love to have your business. The 38 millimeter Murph boasts one of the better movements among its competition. You have the H10 automatic. This base caliber in ETA nomenclature is known as the ETA C07.611. Being a member of the Swatch Group portfolio of brands makes it easier for Hamilton to leverage the power of vertically integrated manufacturing capabilities that comes with the group. The H10 features both hacking and hand winding, and its slower beat rate of 3 Hz or 21,600 vibrations per hour was intentionally slowed to extend the approximate 38 hour power reserve base to 80 hours. This grade of the C07 family comes with conventional escapement components with the added benefit of a Nivacrime balance spring a proprietary alloy produced by the Swatch Group that delivers a variety of benefits. Those include being less affected in timekeeping under the stress of temperature changes, shocks, as well as magnetic fields. I've also found anecdotally speaking, handling hundreds of these watches over the years with different Murphs that they run great out of the box, oftentimes even running in single digits. Another point to mention is that this balance assembly is going to be more of the free sprung variety rather than having traditional regulator pins. So just do keep that in mind. In summary, this caliber knows what it aims to represent, being a robust and reliable engine while also not completely overlooking embellishments of appearance with a hollowed out Hamilton branded rotor. The decade journey of the Murph has been a less than straightforward one. In 2014, we saw its appearance on the big screen and it would take half a decade of patience before the watch would be available for purchase. This delay in time of five years indicates to me that Hamilton probably didn't even fully register the hit that it had on its hands. Since the Murph was in one of the greatest films to come out in the 2010s, it is easy to say the success of its release can be mostly attributed to it being a prop watch tied to the plot. However, we have seen countless watches appear in movies with a range of popularity happening as a result. The truth is, the Murph was never just a prop watch. It was an incredible piece by nearly any metric, and the film tie-in has only become less of a crucial point to validate its popularity as years go on. Where Hamilton deserves a lot of credit is that everything about the Murph's trajectory seemed to be directly as a response to the enthusiast. First it was, we want to be able to wear the watch from the movie. In 2019, they did it. Then it was, we want a smaller version as 42 millimeters is too large. They responded to that in 2022 with a 38 millimeter. And then the final request came in saying that we want a new dial color and a bracelet would be amazing. And voila, here we have it today. These two new releases today are very exciting because this cements the concept that the Murph is much more than merely a prop watch. And with optionality of dial color and bracelet coming into the fold, the language can shift officially from the Murph being arguably the most versatile all around watch under $1,000 to now an official collection that delivers directly on what enthusiasts have been asking for. But all right guys, that's my video here today, looking at these new Hamilton Khakifield Murph models. Under $1,000 this year, I don't know if there's been a release that I've been more excited about thus far. These are just enthusiast favorites and to see some new options within that lineup, bracelet, a question that many people have had, when is it coming? It's now here and then also getting a new dial. 
think this is a great win again by Hamilton, and I love the way that these look. But leave some comments down below. What do you think of this new release from Hamilton? If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Really do appreciate that. Also check out teddybaldeser.com, full authorized dealer of over 30 brands, including Hamilton. And we do have these Murph watches on the site. Every watch from teddybaldeser.com comes with a full factory warranty, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and every purchase also helps us in continuing to produce content here. Allows to keep doing what we're doing. We love what we do. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.